Looking for a healthier pasta dish? I got you. Here's my baked rigatoni. All ingredients are dropped below for an easy grocery haul. Start with your water, add some salt, and bring to a boil. Throw in two boxes of bonza rigatoni. Then you're going to grab your mild Italian sausage and cut it in half. I do recommend measuring it just to be sure you have the proper amount for this batch and the second half that you freeze for later. Now you're going to take your pound of ground chicken and throw it in a large skillet heated on medium to high heat and chop it up. Once it's chopped up, you're going to start seasoning it. The first seasoning is going to be Italian seasoning. Now with all of these, really measure with your heart. It's personal preference. There's no right or wrong amount. Secondly, you're going to add your garlic powder. And, you know, I do love garlic. So just saying. Next, garlic asiago and mix it up really, really well. You're going to continue cooking this until it's about halfway done. Then you're going to use a strainer to get rid of excess liquid and fat from the chicken and set that aside just for a moment. Now, using that same skillet, throw in your Italian sausage and chop that up. Same thing. You're going to cook it until it's about halfway done. Then you're going to add that chicken mix back in and mix well. This is going to really help blend the flavors together and it's going to be that much better. Add in a little bit more Italian seasoning and this time you're also going to throw in some garlic salt. I told you I love garlic. So just a pinch there. Now, quick interruption. I'm going to be sharing a lot more recipes with y'all. So don't forget, subscribe, turn notifications on and like this video. Now back to it, cooking the meat mixture up until it's done, shut it off and let rest. Up next, shredded mozzarella. You're going to want to measure out a cup and a half in total of this. Once that's done, now it's time. Measure out your ricotta. You want a cup and a quarter. After that, it's time to layer. Take your 13 by 9 pan, spray it with non-stick spray. I prefer avocado oil here. Make sure the edges are done well. Grab your pasta and you're going to use about half of it, pushing it into the sides and making sure that it's nice and flat. This tray is going to fill up pinch of mozzarella and grab your pasta sauce. Use about half of it here. You're going to take that, just kind of gob it all over and then spread it out to coat it evenly. Up next, you're going to grab your meat mixture. This is about two thirds. You want to layer in on this side. So make sure it's dispersed as evenly as possible. After that, another small amount of your mozzarella all the way around and you're going to use all ricotta here so just again large scoops of that once it's all scooped out you're just going to press it down so that way it is spread a little bit more evenly all over the dish and a little bit more of your sauce just evenly spread over second layer the remaining of your pasta so all of that and this, yes, push it down because otherwise you're going to have it spilling over. Then the rest of your pasta sauce, empty that jar and spread it all the way around. And once that's done, add the remaining of that meat mixture again, making sure that it's evenly dispersed all over and finish off your mozzarella. You want about half a cup here on top and top with some Parmesan cheese. Now you're going to throw this in your oven at 375 for 25 to 30 minutes. Once it's cooled, you're going to split it into eight servings for a balanced, higher protein pasta dish. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.